Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. I had this box show up here from uh, Type A Machines earlier this week. Because I've been using BuildTac on my Series 1 Pro for oh, the last maybe eight months or so. This is something they came up with. It's supposed to be a flexible plate, and I think it has a magnetic backing of some sort. So yeah, there we go. So there's a... Oh, okay, so there's a magnetic backing plate you put on the heated build plate, and then you apply the build tack to this flexible plate, and then I guess you attach the flexible plate to the magnetic plate. Oh, they even have a custom printed build tack, Series 1. And I already have some of the uh, build tack material the 12 inch so I'll be able to use that with this oh this is okay so this is the flex plate so the idea is this is a steel plate and then this must be the magnetic oh there we go yeah so you put this magnetic plate on top of your heated build plate over the glass and then you put your build tack on this metal plate and then that whole thing just drops in place the benefit of this is you can just take this out of your printer and flex it to pop your uh, part off and you don't have to be trying to scrape it off with a scraper because I finally uh, wore through my second sheet of build tack as it the uh, adhesive starts loosening up and you start getting little tears in the material and then it's really hard to get the scraper in without gouging into the build tack. Since my last sheet of build tack was uh, in need of replacement I figured while I was cleaning off the glass build plate I will put this guy on. Yeah anyway I am thinking this uh, magnetic material is pr very similar to you, you would make a printed circuit board with and I'll put a link to uh, Destin's uh, Smarter Everyday video where he did a video talking about this. Okay so I have some uh, magnetic rubber material the kind you can glue on the back of uh, stickers or you know put a sticker on this and then stick it to uh, sheet metal you know, side of your refrigerator, side of your car, whatever. So this is magnetic material and it's it's about the same thickness there. And here's the sheet of metal. And there's a little bit of stick, but it's not even enough to pick up the weight of this uh, metal here. You can see it'll hold the uh, the magnetic rubber onto the metal but there's not enough stick to pick up the uh, piece of sheet metal so that's a piece of regular magnet and this is this uh, printed magnetic material and that wow <laughs> I mean that that you can just pick up yeah, you can shake it off if you really give it a whack. But yeah, that's definitely definitely sticks on there. So yeah, that's what they're doing with that. That is pretty neat. First time I've seen that uh, printed uh, magnetic material like that. So yeah, I'll put a link to Destin's video. He has covers the uh, the technology behind this. So the idea is that this technology concentrates the magnetic field being really close to the material and makes it very strong in that direction and really cuts down on the fields that are going off to the side so like here there's there's like no attraction on the side I don't even feel a but once you get down like that, you can start to feel the attraction versus, I think, this. Yeah, this you can feel a little bit of a 
attraction on the side and but there's not enough not enough lift to lift a piece of uh, sheet metal like that that is neat so yeah I guess I need to get my uh, printer uh, taken apart pull the uh, build plate out and I gotta remove the uh, build tack that's on there yeah so I'll show you that uh, removing the build tack cleaning the build plate yeah so that's the new type A machines flex plate system I think that'll be pretty nice because yeah in fact I do believe this will be really nice because one of the things I would like to do I print a lot of uh, ABS and I can print that on the build tack but I also print uh, some nylon and I've always wanted to try nylon on Garolite, which is a kind of a really industrial strength cardboard. It's a fiber material, but it's a very hard um, surface. And that would be really easy here because I could just take a piece of sheet metal, 12 inch square, and put a layer of Garolite on top of that and then drop that on my printer. So swapping out print beds would be as easy as pulling this sheet off and put another sheet on. So I think that that might be kind of nice. So let's see, I guess they give you, okay, two, two sheets of uh, build tack. You get one pre-installed, you get a second sheet. So that's been the one thing I haven't really liked about the Series 1 Pro is the bed is not removable easily. I mean you can take it out but putting it back in means you have to re-level the bed and uh, unscrew the connector on the bottom, pop the bed off of the spring mounting bolts and then when you put it back in you gotta put it in, hook up the connector, probably re-level everything because you've taken everything apart. So this will be a really nice upgrade I think and if you totally mess up this thing it's just a sheet of sheet metal that is the new flex plate system but anyway yeah I'll show you when I get uh, get a chance to install that I don't know if I'll be able to do that today or sometime in the week coming up here so yeah we'll uh, take a look at that and in the meantime if you have any uh, questions about that post up in the comment section below I'll put a link to the type A machines store page where you can pick up one of these and as always thanks for watching